Hello, welcome back. Today, yeah, maybe one of the most controversial uh, uh, albums that has ever been made. 1969, Captain Beefheart, Trout Mask Replica. I want to talk about the album. I want to talk about the ed edition I have, the, the uh, Third Man Records pressing. And yeah, see here, here the trouble, the controversy begins. Is this a trout? I think it's a carp, but I'm not much of a fisherman, so maybe it's a trout. I'd say it's a carp, but, but anyhow, as I said, 1969, Captain Beefheart goes and produced uh, with the third album with his magic band and the album is produced by no one less than Frank Zappa which to my knowledge even was his high school buddy <laughs> oh, nice combination Zappa and Captain Beefheart and um, Captain Beefheart and that is what you really get when you when you listen to this to this record he had a vision, he had an idea, he had a clear vision and a clear idea what he wanted to do. What he did is at least for me extremely hard to describe. I will try it. To my knowledge, when and consider this, I think that the Rolling Stones, Rolling Stone magazine in their notorious uh, list they do uh, set and they did a list about rock albums and I think, I don't know if it's t until today the case, but this one was number one. So that means Rolling Stone said that this is the best rock album of all time. Wow, that's a statement. Next thing, and I will show it a little later, this edition, this Third Man Records edition, is the most beautiful vinyl I own. They did something really really special. I show it I show it later on. Um, but maybe we start we start with the music itself. As I said, Sapa produced it on its straight label in 1969. We are talking here, yeah, blues rock, <laughs> avant-garde, atonal, polyrhythmic, spoken word field recording it, it combines everything free jazz it's it's unbelievable we have 28 songs most of them are under or around two minutes so very short songs it's it's quite a journey it's not easy of course but if you're in in the right mood and i think listen to music has a lot of a lot to do with with, with, with which mood am I in? You know, I'm, my my variety goes from avant-garde electronic until uh, old country music, so or classical music. That always depends on the mood. If you are into the right mood, this is an astonishing, an astonishing achievement. It's a great record. I know this. It's it's very controversial. You know, in my opinion, this is, when he did it in 1969, this is the music of tomorrow. And the fascinating thing to me is that if you listen it at 2021 or in, in a few days, 2022, it's still the music of tomorrow. It's, it's an unbelievable piece of, of avant-garde rock, blues rock, it's it's very 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 hard to label almost almost impossible but of course it it really breaks ground and was very important for this alterna alternative rock punk post punk Inc you have you have to if you haven't already you really have to try it you really have to listen to it in my opinion because if your vinyl collection or your record collection also has the aspect of let's say being an archive in in, in in what way ever but being a little archive i think this record belongs into your collection i got here the version 
Third Man Record did in October this year. They put out, I think in 2018, they put out one of, of, of their vault releases from this Trout mask replica. And the, to my knowledge, the only difference between the new version from this year is that there has been a, a, a white, uh, white vinyl 7 inch. Otherwise, it's, it's the same. Let's start with the jacket. It's this typical, beautiful, American, sturdy, heavy jacket. Well made, beautiful made. You can see it here. Great stuff. Then you get an inlet with the lyrics and stuff like this. Beautiful, well made. And yet another, <laughs> as I told you, my most beautiful vinyl. I hope it, 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 you can, can get it here on, on, on the video. It's unbelievable. They call it fruit fish scale version. It's stunningly beautiful. Really, really, really beautiful. And they did a fantastic job when it comes to the sound of this release. It's full. It's so rich. It's, it's punchy. Great soundscape. It's, the sound of it, to me, was, was a huge surprise. It uses uh, the lacquer cuts from, from Bernie Grundman mastering. I think the pressing has taken place over at Palace US. So it's a, it's a friggin' beautiful, great sounding release from this classical, class, not classical, excuse me, from this classic art rock, alternative rock, avant-garde, blues rock, whatever masterpiece. I don't know. What do you think about Captain Beefheart? and his trout mask replica not an easy listening for sure but quite a listening highly highly recommended i don't know if the third man record pressing from october is still available over at their shop but if so i would really recommend some of you to get it it's, if you don't have that album already special one controversial one i get it but for sure a very very important um, important release so that's my personal take on trout mask replica let's discuss and see you as i hope on my next video thank you for your time bye <laughs>